So now what we can do is go back to the simulation mode. So I'll go back. I'll try to reload this web page and hit run play. We let a few packets go around. So we have a packet going to the hostel router and then to the switch and then to the server. So in the future, we'll see how these uh, packets are able to determine on which path they are supposed to go. And here what we see is one of the packets reaches the phone also, but the phone rejects it because it, it was not requested by the phone. So we have a lot of, again, the second set of, uh, second round of uh, packets have started coming up. And now we see a stream of packets has started going from the web server directly to the laptop. So what we can do is we can pause this here and let's try to look at the information that is inside these packets. So let's see the first one from my laptop. So as you click on this, you can see this information that is available here. So what you see here is the layered architecture of the communication. And it says there are certain information like IP header source. There is some address over here and there is a destination address over here. And then again, there is another type of address called the, the MAC address over here. And another is the destination MAC address over here. So if you want to look at uh, how the packets look, actually, this is how they look. Now let's close this one and we'll go down and try to see what happens at the Institute web server. This was the first one, which said 200 uh, content length was 216. That is when the web page just loaded. Now let's go back and uh, see what is the information that is available on packets, which were streaming out of the Institute server. So what we see here is there is a huge sequence number earlier what we saw was the sequence number was one and the acknowledgement number was one so now what we see here is the sequence number is huge that means there are these many packets which will have to be sent to send the entire image and the laptop has already received these many images this way the laptop is able to tell the server that these are the numbers i have received and based on these the server and the laptop keep a track of how many more are to come so we just saw how communication happens over the network when you request a website and the server responds back.